Last night, I was trying to watch the news, and something was wrong with their time things. And I kept going back and forth to watch the news, to watch the weather before I went to bed. And uh, I was watching Channel 7 with Dr. Dave and stuff, and they had the Steve Harv Judge Steve Harvey show. Any of y'all ever said it, seen it? It's pathetic. You have all these people there that, you know, he talks about being a man and making your money and all this shit. And they had this one kid who works at the post office and lives with his mom. And uh, he's the only one that drives in the house, so he has to drive everybody around. I, I don't understand why the the mom doesn't drive, but she don't. Maybe she don't like driving. And so he gets tired of driving everybody because he's like, you know, you know, why can't y'all? Well, oh, she bought him a car. She got him a car. He lives with her. And then he's supposed to drive everybody, right? Because it's his car. And Steve Harvey doesn't see the, you know, he's Judge Steve Harvey and he doesn't see, you know, he's, why is this, you know? Why, why did you buy him a car and then it's just that he drive everybody everywhere? You know, he, he made him into the chauffeur, literally. But he keeps criticizing this, this kid and telling him, you know, the mom did a great job of raising you and you're a worthless little son of a bitch. You live with your mom, you have a job and she pays all the bills and you don't pay any of the bills and, you know, you're a worthless son of a bitch. And the kid's like, no, I pay for all the gas. And when she needs money for a bill that we she can't cover or anything, I give her the money right on the spot, right? I don't keep receipts because it's my mom. I live with her, right? And Steve Harvey keeps telling her, him what a worthless son of a bitch he is. And she's doing this great job trying to raise this kid. And he's a worthless son of a bitch. And you're like, look at what this, what the fuck is this guy talking about, right? You're like watching it going, is anybody else in the crowd understanding what the fuck's going on here? And the sister gets up and goes, you know, yeah, well, he does drive everybody. Okay. But he's the one who wrecked the car and he's going to blame it on me. Okay. And then Steve Harvey goes, you lying. She didn't do it. You did it. And by that time, the kid realizes I'm just getting crucified by this fucker with a lot of money. And he can do and say whatever the fuck he wants because he's a multimillionaire. And I'm not. <laughs> and if they all decide, okay, he's the bad guy and they're the good guys, then I'm fucked. Okay, that's what the kid finally resolves himself to. So he just starts to laugh and shake his head and goes, I'm just getting fucked here. And this guy's an asshole because he's got more money than everybody and he can throw it around like he big, you know, Mr. Big Stuff. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stuff? You're never going to get my love, right? And none of the people in the crowd, especially the, the lady with the gun and the badge and shit, right? None of them are Gene Knight, you know? I've seen those other places. You know, you know, nobody, even the people playing pickleball, you know, all they want, they get upset. I'm not going to give you any money at all. Oh, shit. Everybody else got money. The two pickleball people were funny, but they ain't getting no money. They were the funniest people, right? He's well, well, good for you old folks getting out there in outside and the carbon emission poisoning and shit at the, and, 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 and promoting local businesses. That they get out all these people out there. Get out there in the carbon emission poisoning. Get out there in the tire particles and kill yourself exercising to death because we ain't living the Lord's Prayer and we ain't living healthy. Well, you get out there and support your local hospital administrators. You know, El Paso made it to where you don't have to leave El Paso to get killed by your treatment with cancer treatment, right? <laughs> you're like watching and going, what the fuck is wrong with these people, right? And I, I, I guess I'm the only intelligent person I know that, you know, and I don't watch the show because it's irritating as fuck. I'm a Christian. He says that too. I'm a Christian. And God bless you. And God bless you. God bless you. And he's a Christian. <laughs> He says he's like Jesus Christ. He knows how to use the word God properly in a sentence. He's Judge Steve Harvey. You know, like 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 uh, King Solomon. You know, <laughs> he would be watching going, no, he's not. He's like Clarence Thomas. You know, people with real big penises, they think that their dick is God's gift to women, right? And when they got a social position and lots of money, you know, you're going to take this dick. 
and you're going to like this dick because it's the richest dick you've ever had in your pussy. So when that, this shaft that I use blue pills and yellow pills and generic Viagra on or is it the best Viagra money can buy goes in and out of your wet stupid ass I can't think pussy you will promote anybody as leader of the money fuck club no matter how attractive you think you is and you ain't attractive trust me who gets <laughs> And that poor lady sat there, you know, I will not let this child drive the car. She she, she hired, she went and got him and said, you're going to come back and be our chauffeur. I mean, anybody in their right mind. Okay. The rest of these people have some kind of social anxiety or not good drivers or getting accidents and shit. And the only responsible driver is this kid. Okay. And Steve Harley is railing him and telling her, what a bad kid you, you know. And he's like, no, I live with my, I went to go live. I got tired of it. I went to go live with someone else and get a job somewhere else. And she came and got me and bought me a par and said, come back and be our responsible chauffeur. And he's a responsible chauffeur. They, they, you know, but Steve Harvey, you'd be like, what, what kind of judge are you, Clarence Thomas? So to my ear, Roberts, Ginsburg, uh, Scalia. I mean, uh, uh, you know, you're a bad person. You get people killed. You're irresponsible. Wanting to live the ways of King Solomon and King David, Lord Abraham and Moses. Wow, you're a bad person. You get people killed. Yeah, you sound like all the assholes that are genocidal operators at Fort Huachuca <laughs> and Las Casas Cruces, New Mexico, right? <laughs> Hi, Baraka scientist, and you're a liar. <laughs> so people can't put up a satellite, and you can't. So this phone, when, even when I turn it off, and that TV cannot monitor my entire house. And you, you so, 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 so all you scientists can't can sit there and use the, the things on the phone, on the TVs to to, to like they do the phones with the with the cameras and you can't watch this me masturbates or watches me have a sexes with whoever I have sexes with. It's impossible for this phone to have a camera and TV have camera in it and watch this. That's impossible. I don't know. I've had people for which you could tell me they can put surveillance equipment on a fly. And well, they, they also got told that at Natalie's school and in a, a cereal box that can come in and have a camera sh -sh 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 and watches this who I have sex with sh -sh -sh in my homes. And the Patriots Act has legal documents, legal languages, sh -sh -sh -sh, and every contract you sign with a social media site has legal contracts and saying now we have access to and own all the information that you use while using this app on your fo -fo -fo phone okay you're a rocket scientist and you can't read or explain a legal contract to anyone bueller bueller is this ben stein's money yes what the fuck right so you'd be watching this stuff right and you'd be like you know and guys See, I'm the Messiah. I'm, I'm the man on planet Earth right now that is the, the living spirit of a man they call Jesus Christ, who many people have made into a god, right? And scientists and corporations are so cocky, okay? Because they did this with Judy Krishnamurti, the world didn't come to an end. They did this with uh, Haley Slossie, the world didn't come to an end, okay? We're all mass murdering each other, lying to each other, killing each other, lying to ourselves. We're pathetic, disgusting human beings of public disgrace, of complete and utter narcissistic insanity on a daily basis. You know, since they thought much the shot mushroom tip in the, in the ear, right? And then you got Amber Rose go, you know, I'm a sexual blast. Uh, uh. Well, sex, uh, you know, uh, you, didn't you learn your lesson last time? You Last time you dealt with a sex industry person? He's all, thank you for promoting the president. So black people who only think about money and make their child and their chauffeur and then say he's worthless, have Steve Harvey say he's worth because Steve Harvey got more pimp daddy nasty money than they kid does, right? And you're like, watch it go, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Oh, go play some pickleball. Make sure it's near the freeway. Lots of carbon machine, maybe even near the airport. Where it kills people with cancer and diabetes because their metabolism slow down so much because of all the chemical poisoning, it's hard for them to even function and they can't even enjoy duping eggs. 
and they die from their treatment and their treatment literally torches them because the food they have to eat is just has gives it is no uh food value to get up and work like they used to work when they were younger or be able to play pickleball without passing out and dying from a heart attack aneurysm or a stroke right you understand okay okay wow go out and catch those sheep okay take pictures and say this is Danetta this is nothing like Manuelito and Barbancito's Danetta okay dude <laughs> you watch Dark Winds watch any Navajo movie on TV it's nothing like the Navajos I talk to in prayer okay do you understand okay guys just so you know all right I love you very much all right peace out <laughs>